Hey guys, it's Sticker Mike here from MikeStickers.com. I'm gonna show y'all how to make cut lines in Corel Draw. You're gonna, this isn't gonna cover every single step, but this is gonna cover the basics of making the cut line. So you're gonna need to go ahead and have your Corel or your sorry your rolling palette set up. So I'm gonna import a file. On this one I'm doing one for the bar that my dad works at. You're going to go ahead and just paste the image. You're going to go to convert to bitmap. You guys, I'm new to all this, but this is the way I found to do it. This most efficient. All right, now you're going to go trace bitmap. You're going to do outline trace. I'm going to do line art. I think there's other ways you can do it, but I do line art. It seems to process it quicker. It's processing it down here. You got to pay attention to where it says processing. All right, now you're going to click OK. All right, now you're going to separate out these images. There's two of them here your original one that has the box around it and there's the one that doesn't have the box that's the one you're going to use or you're going to set this one to the side for right now so on this one you're going to click it and you see it looks funny um, and that's not the one you're going to use as far as what you're going to print you're going to use this one to make your outline and your your cut line so you're going to okay so you see how I have this set up over here um, where you're going to look for that, there's several places where you can go to do a contour or an outline or a border, but you don't get the same options depending on where you go. So I have mine set up to where, look, you go up here to effects and then look, you come down here and there's contour right here, but it, it's not the same. I, I don't know. It's weird. You got to go down here and click contour here and it's going to pop up this box. Okay. It's going to allow you to select what kind of inside contour or outside contour. You go to outside contour and you want to do rounded corners. And then you want to select the offset. I have mine at 0 0.2. I think that's where I want it, but I'm not sure. And just for the purpose of being able to see okay so the fill color is going to be the actual the width of you know it's going to be the white on the outside but you can't see it if it's white and your page is white i guess maybe i can select a different color from my page i'm not sure how to do that yet but for right now i'm going to select a different color um just to look at the at the offset um why is it, why is it not doing it all right, let's do this. I don't know why my computer is so slow with Corel Draw right now. It might just be I have too much memory being used up. It could be that it takes a while for this sort of process to happen. All right, so that shows your your outline. If you if you want it to be black, great but I'm, I'm, I want mine to be white I just want to be able to visually see it since the background since my page is white so I know that that's where I want it so I'm gonna change it back to white now go over here select white I guess I could have just did the undo use the undo feature I suppose So now I'm going to right click here to put, no, hang on, sorry. I didn't click apply yet, or did I click apply? No, I didn't click apply yet. All right, so you're going to click apply. I guess it did it already. Okay, and then I'm going to right click on my Roland Perf Contour color. If I was doing just a contour cut, I would click on the magenta. I'm going to right click. Let's 
gonna process it. Bam! I got my cut contour. Now, my perf cut line. So, here's the thing. I only want that outside line. I don't want the inside line. So now, like I said, I'm still new to doing all this. I'm trying to remember what I did last time and how come these are still together. Break contour apart. Break contour apart. There you go. Break contour apart. Did you see that? I right clicked on the line and I did break contour apart and it, and it separated out the contour line from this image. Now you can just delete this image because I don't want that image and I don't want to cut on the inside. I just want the outside. And then here, I want to delete that node right there because I don't want to cut that. So now that I broke the contour line apart, it gives me all these nodes and it lets me modify or delete these nodes. So I'm going to click on these ones to delete out the center area that I don't want to cut. Now basically we just have a raw contour cut line. Um, and I have this 100% cyan which is going to make it a and, and I have it labeled properly which is going to make it a a perf contour cut line. Now I'm going to grab my image from over here. I'm going to set it over here by it. I need to bring it to the front so I'm going to right click I'm going to click on order to front of page that's going to put it up in front of the contour line now watch what I'm going to do is I have it selected on the image I'm going to click on select on the keyboard I'm going to click the cut line now I'm just going to press on the keyboard I'm going to press the letter C to center it and then I'm going to press E for equal <clears throat> now the problem I'm seeing huh, I guess this is not I guess I need to trace this bitmap again and Hang on, what's going on with that? That's kind of weird. It's not, um, that's not going to work. All right, so let me figure out something here. Sorry, we're learning together, guys. So apparently, that's not traced all the way around the image. I don't want it to mess up the image. Sometimes when you do this, it distorts, it changes the colors on the image. So let's see what happens. Yeah, see, it doesn't look right. So this one's traced out, but the image doesn't look correct. You see inside the guitar, it doesn't look right. So we don't want to use that. Hmm. So, I think we can actually just put the cut line on top of this one. So let's do that. Let's do this one to the front of page. Uh, that's not going to work.
Well, guys, I'm stumped for a second. I'm not sure why this one didn't work out for me. I did it this way on the last one, and it still had this this other part of the image was still traced out. Okay, well, I'm going to pause this record and I'm going to try to figure this out and I'll give the answer. I just don't want to make the video longer than it needs to be. Okay, guys. So, I think I figured it out now. What I did was, I, um, the outline area, I had the fill color here is white. I don't know why right now it looks like this, uh, this blue color. But what I did is I came down here to my, at the bottom left corner here, I have the, the white box with the red line is no fill. Now keep in mind, this is my normal color palette or it's supposed to be. And it's down here. Most people's, I think it's gonna be up here on the right. I don't know how mine got moved. But this one over here on the far right is just specifically for Roland. It has the little white dots on it and it, it tells those are process colors. They're labeled with a specific name and they do different things whenever you're doing post-processing inside of uh, VersaWorks. So you see how it's labeled Cut Contour with a capital C, capital C. Uh, the way that that is labeled, it, it tells the programming to do something specific. And so, see how this one says Perf Cut Contour. So that's my Perf Cut Contour. This is my Normal Cut Contour. I don't know why it looks blue, but what I did is I select I selected this to change the color. I came down here, I selected no fill. So now the box has no fill. So now I can bring this to the front of the page. I can put these guys together. Basically, I'm gonna move this over here. So I can put them together now. I say, the, the trick here to centering everything, the way that I know how to do it, is I click on the image, then I click on the, well, oh, you need to have them separated out. Click on the image, press shift, click on the cut line, press C, then press E. And it's gonna center it all. Then you can do control all, right click, group, and then it's going to keep it together <clears throat> okay so sorry that was a little bit longer than it needed to be but maybe it'll help you to work out some of the issues that you have when you're trying to do this also now you in order to bring it into VersaWorks first of all I always like to save it so I'm going to save it as Pootie's Roadhouse And this is saving it as a Corel draw file so you can go in and, and use it later and edit it later. And then now, in order to send it to VersaWorks, you're gonna wanna export it. You're gonna export, and then it's gonna export it as ESP. If you don't already have this one selected, you need to. Uh, you want it as ESP, encapsulated postscript. And um, I just have it labeled the same thing. I'm just going to look for the ESP file whenever I go to open it. Export it and just leave this the same. I don't I don't know what all that stuff means. I just leave it the way it is. I mean, I know what some of it means, but yeah, I just leave it the way it is. Um, I don't know if maybe I need to bump up the, the, the resolution there. Um, I guess this is the normal resolution of whatever it, it is right now. Alright, so now you can go into VersaWorks and open it up. <laughs> selecting the wrong one all right so I already have a B C D cues being used up let me import or add to Q E 
And again, I'm new to VersaWorks. I don't know how to really do a whole lot with any of this stuff yet. I'm still learning, but this is my first week with my Roland BN20 and I've figured out how to do this stuff, so I'm hoping it'll help you out. All right, so here's Pootie's Roadhouse ESP. I'm gonna open that up. Now I need to go over here and select the queue, which queue I'm looking for. Now, here it is. You click on the gear icon down here, and you see it did have the little A. Hang on, had the little A right here showing that it has special items, which means it has my cut line. Gonna go in here real quick. I'm just gonna click on cut contour just to check something real quick so you can zoom in has the little they say marching ants going around it um, you can do cut only to see and see there's my cut line and um, here's here's the key thing right here when I go cut only you can see it selects all this stuff um, it doesn't give you these options down here for perforated cut controls unless that line that you put in there, the cut line, is 100% cyan and it's labeled correctly. If you have it as magenta, you're only going to get uh, these normal cut settings. So for me, I put mine at 200 right now. I'm still learning how to do. That's with mine laminated. Okay, and I want to do a perf cut contour, so I want to go all the way through the backing paper. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to put it on print only, because what we're going to do is we're going to print it, and then we're going to come back here and cut it after that. But so, what you want to do is you want to get your media width. You want to select the size of these. Um, it looks kind of blurry to me. I don't know if the image is actually blurry. These aren't images provided by the uh, customer. They were just pulled off the website. So they aren't the best images. I'm just going to make, let's say, a 4 inch. And see how that looks. Obviously, the smaller it is, the, the better the image is going to look because the larger it is, the more it loses resolution. Um, and then you want to uh, select how many you want, your quantity. Oops, and I, I forgot, I'm all zoomed in right now. There you go. So I already pressed get media width, which is going to make sure I don't have any issues when I'm printing it or cutting it. Um, I'm going to center on the page. And then, you know, I'm going to select some more copies. I think that's good enough just because I want to test it out this is my first time printing these I've never print, printed these yet so I want to test out the image and make sure it looks good before I go and print a whole bunch of them and then I'm gonna go into so for quality honestly high speed is good for most applications um, I just started testing it with high speed but look it reduces the print time in half I'm sure it uses a lot less ink it uses bi-directional um, printing so it, it definitely prints faster I'm gonna go into the, the crop marks I'm gonna put crop marks print and cut alignment entire area and then I'm gonna go I already did my cut settings here and then I'm gonna click OK well, now when you do that it doesn't put a preview of the crop marks but it is going to put um, or not crop marks but registration marks now you're going to rip it and the key thing that I've learned is once you rip it you can't go back and change anything and rip it again you can go back in and change it to cut only and then press print so you, and then it'll cut it but you don't want to go in and change any other settings I'm going to save this file now just as uh, just to say that it's uh, already been ripped. Now you can print it. 
let me just double check. I like to always be on the safe side, so I'm gonna go in there and make sure. And I'm gonna see what my I'm gonna go to cut settings. I have print only. Okay, so I'm gonna yep, I'm gonna print it now, and then later when I come in here, I'll change it to cut only, and then I'll come back here and press print, and it'll cut it. It won't print it. It'll cut it once you change that to cut only. All right, that's it, guys. I hope that helps you out. Please like, share, subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you.